I want to share a tip with you that doesn't take a lot of practice but can drastically improve the sound of your guitar playing. And um, what I want to talk about is the state of relaxation um, and the, the tension that you put on the guitar with either your fretting hand or your picking hand. This makes a big difference in the way it sounds and um, there are some specific problems that I see people using or people having in their in their playing related to each hand. So I'm going to start with my fretting hand. And um, the problem that I most commonly see is people trying to play super evenly and hard on all the notes, like pushing with the same intensity on every note. And that is really important when you're first learning to play the guitar because one of the most challenging aspects of beginning to learn the guitar is pushing down the string hard enough so it actually makes a good solid uh, and consistent tone. But once you get a little further along into the late beginner, intermediate, or advanced stages, you don't need to do that anymore because you're used to pressing the notes down. So you can soften up quite a bit on the way that you're pressing the strings. So if I'm pressing really hard, one of the problems that can happen is that you can make your guitar go out of tune, even if it's perfectly in tune on its own. If I push really hard on the string, listen to how it, it the, the note will raise, it will get a little sharp. I'm trying to exaggerate there, but if you're pressing too hard on all the frets, then you're going to probably sound out of tune. And that is especially a problem when you're trying to record a guitar part. So what I would do to, to try and soften up is just to play with, maybe starting on one note, play with different tensions. Push down hard, push down lighter and lighter until it starts to choke out the note like this. And that actually is a, a cool effect you can use in your playing to vary it up. I, I like to use that when I'm soloing to give it kind of a choked and rhythmic kind of sound. So I'll, I'll show you a, a really short little improvisation using some variation um, from pushing harder to get a full sounding note to softer to get that choked sound. So. <laughs> So I'm trying to vary the way I'm doing it, not playing all the notes the same way. And that is what we call articulation, might be a term that you're familiar with. But varying your articulation in different ways is a great way to improve the overall sound of your playing and um, to w without really needing to improve your technical ability. It really is just a feel thing. You might just play with how hard you're pressing the strings and not always doing it the same on every note. So that's idea number one. Um, <clears throat> there's a few guitar players that I, that I really like that have a very light touch, and you can see them um, when they're playing. They're pushing down with a gentle, very gentle touch. So... Um, Play around with that, see what, how it sounds for you, and, and try to vary the articulation with your fretting hand. Now with the strumming hand, the primary problem that I see um, that makes people sound, that, that is a detriment to, to some guitar players' sounds, is just too much stiffness in the wrist of the right hand and also um, not enough and too much stiffness in the way they're picking. So I... If I'm picking single notes, I'm kind of wiggling my thumb and my index finger. With a little bit of wrist motion. But you'll notice that my arm is not going like this. I'm not going... Um, some players might use more or less wrist motion, but I find that I get the best tone if I have a loose wrist and it's really a lot of flexibility in my wrist joint as well as in my fingers that are holding the pick. So when you're doing single notes, I like to very gently mm -hmm. 
be able to pick very gently and also just as I was demonstrating with my fretting hand with my picking hand I'm also going to vary how hard I'm picking and um, be able to accent different notes in order to create an interesting articulation um, and so articulation in case you're not familiar is just the way that the note uh, sounds when it comes across or the way that it's played um, and so you could have a very you know light articulation a harder you could have a long note you have a very short note um, those are all different uh, variations on the way you articulate a note and that as a whole grouping or category or concept is called articulation and it's kind of a next level um, consideration once you have the fundamentals of playing your instrument down so the final thing I want to talk about is the way that um, the, the wrist flexibility that you need in order to create nice sounding strumming and this is something that I've seen from prof professional guitar players that um, work as a guitar player for a living I've seen it all the way from that level all the way down to beginners just people that that have a hard time loosening up their uh, strumming hand and this is something that I uh, learned from playing funk rhythm guitar and but I don't think it's unique to funk rhythm guitar it's just that's just where I happen to really kind of hone it in but it really has to do with the wrist joint primarily there's a little bit of motion in the fingers but it's it's with the looseness of the wrist joint if I'm strumming a chord and my arm is like one stiff uh, unit from my elbow down to my pick it's gonna sound really bad um, <laughs> This may work in a situation where you're playing like jazz chords. Um, like more of a jazz type situation where you want that chord to sound out as a block. It's like hap all the notes you want them to happen equally um, pronounced and at the same time. That might work for that situation, but most of the time it's going to sound much better if you have a relaxed wrist. So let me show you what I mean. So when I'm strumming, I'm really trying to relax my wrist and I'm trying to kind of have a bit of a flop in the way that it gets going up and down. And that allows me to turn. There's a little bit of a rotation of my arm happening while I'm doing this. And the reason that I'm doing that is because when I am strumming down, I'm angling my pick back so that I'm not playing with the, the immediate tip. I'm angling it so it's a little bit of a softer surface to hit across rather than the pointy tip. And then when I come back, I'm doing the same thing, but in the opposite direction. So I'm, I'm creating this kind of softness on both sides. So I'm gonna play a little bit of a loud funk part um, just to dig in and show you how I do this when it's... I'm going to try to turn my guitar down a little bit, so... When I'm doing that, I'm actually combining both of these different um, techniques in my in both hands that I was talking about. Um, the fretting hand uh, touch doesn't just apply to single notes. As I'm playing um, this rhythm part, I was definitely changing the way the pressure I'm putting on on this hand to get either that more choke sound or like if I'm kind of v adding some vibrato. 
by kind of wiggling my, my fingers, um, then I am going to be pushing harder. Um, and then in my right hand, to, I was trying to do a loud funk part to demonstrate how I do that um, in that type of a situation. In that, I'm, add, I'm wanting a little more volume, so I'm not quite um, angling my pick as much. I'm using a little more of a point, but I'm also varying how hard I'm hitting and keeping my wrist nice and loose so that I get that, um, that nice tone. The problem, I'm going to try to demonstrate the problematic approach that I see that I'm trying to kind of help you avoid, and that's the stiff arm. And I can't even really, I don't know, that's basically what it looks like to me and sounds like to me. It sounds very um, just forced, unnatural, very kind of square, and um, just just overall not good. So... Loose wrist. And varying the volume, you know, articulating it so that you can accent different beats. And if you get really good with this, you can accent full on rhythms within like a constant strumming pattern. So I'm doing a ba da 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 while I'm doing a, a consistent, steady up and down strumming pattern. So I'm playing every subdivision, but I'm accenting that rhythm. So, anyway, that's the tip. I I. I see this problem with people so I wanted to address it and hopefully that is helpful and this is a way like I said you don't have to spend a ton of time practicing this to, to actually improve the sound of your playing so I'm hoping that some of the things I've said here were helpful for you if you like this video um, you can visit my website practicemakesbettermusic.com where I have a lot more um, videos and, and tutorials and I also have a course that dives deep into understanding the fundamental patterns of the guitar, um, which is a concept that I'm going to introduce in a later video. So um, I hope you enjoyed this, and please subscribe if you like this, and leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Thanks.